Good evening, everybody. My name is Maurice Healy. I'm the chairman of Philanthropy Ireland. Um, it's always important to start off on the right footing. And for those who don't know me, I'm from Cork, uh, West Cork. That's very important. And as I got, get to know Jacob, and hopefully it will become a strong friendship, uh, he's agreed to come back to West Cork so I can show it off a little bit. This evening, of course, is the seventh Ray Murphy lecture. And I'm again delighted to see the members of the family of the Murphys are here. And we are extraordinarily welcome. I personally didn't know the man. However, I feel I do know him. Because over the series of these lectures, people have talked about him over drinks before and after. So it has been um, a great privilege for me not to have met him, but a great privilege to have known him. And we celebrate him here this evening through this lecture series, funded by the Mott Foundation and Atlantic Philanthropy. Uh, I presume it's easier for me to start with my own story, uh, which started by meeting an extraordinary gentleman called Sean Coughlin, uh, when he introduced me to the idea of social entrepreneurship some 12 years ago now. And I had to literally learn what that meant. And in truth, the word philanthropy didn't come easily to me either. Even though I knew how to spell it, I truly didn't understand it. And it was evident this evening by meeting a young man when he said, what is a philanthropist? And I said, could you explain to me what you think a philanthropist is? And he said, wealthy people give you away their money. I said, well, I wish I could change the mindset of people about that and change it to something completely different. When I met Sean, he introduced me to social entrepreneurship. At a time, I presume, when my wife and I had already got to a point where we believed our children and ourselves were very happy with what we had. It didn't prevent us actually continuing to grow our business or to increase the wealth of our company, but it got to a point where I felt comfortable, and Adelaide, my wife, and my four sons felt comfortable with what we had as individuals. And we started on a new journey. It started with maybe the traditional model of Irish philanthropists or Irish people who feel that they need to give back by writing checks. A traditional model, which if I got an application, I felt comfortable what they asked was for, I wrote a check. And then when I met Sean, I felt I needed to understand what his journey was and what Declan Ryan had set up through the One Foundation and then subsequently social entrepreneurship. And I went to visit people who call themselves social entrepreneurs. And that's the beginning of what I started. I set up the Healy Foundation within a matter of five years. And today we are privileged in one part to assist in giving back what we believe we need to do to many, many great organizations across the country and outside of Ireland because we believe it's right. Not be believe it because we have it, because we believe it's right. And I had the great privilege in the last four weeks to be at two events. One was an organization called Anam Cara. And it's very close to my heart because part of my journey, I actually invited Sharon Vard, who was the founder, to actually locate her organization within Healy's. And she's here this evening, she, and I would safely say that she's as much part of the Healy business as we are part of Anam Cara. And about four weeks ago, she launched a booklet on bereavement and bereavement support on behalf of our organization. And that day, she stood up and spoke about an organization called Apple Green and a gentleman called Joe Barrett. And he told why, as a major, now publicly quoted company, they decided some years ago that as an organization in business, it was right, proper, and most appropriate to start giving back in a formal way. And I credit Apple Green for being that type of business. And then a couple of weeks later, my old fa family, Social Entrepreneurships, had their annual award ceremony, which I believe was quite remarkable for those who were there, quite remarkable for the people who received their awards. But again, a man stood up in front of the audience called Tony, Tommy Breen, chief executive of DCC, 
And he spoke about his partnership with social entrepreneurship for five years, which he has extended because he believes as a corporation, a major corporation, giving back as a corporation was good for his business, good for his people, good for his company, not necessarily good for his marketing or for, his, for, his, for developing his business, but good for his company. And this evening, this is what this evening is about, talking about that and getting your engagement with us, with our guests, and seeing can we get Corporate Ireland to become more engaged with the topic of giving back appropriately. We're privileged this evening to a gentleman, a scholar, a true scholar, called Jacob Gale. He is the founder, or he's the, the uh, chief executive of the uh, Metronics Foundation, and has been on a very, very long journey. I have so, had some access to his speech, so I won't really get into much discussion about who he is, because it will become self-evident as he speaks to you. And I had the privilege of meeting him some weeks ago, and as I said, he's an extraordinary man with a great story. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jacob Gale.